It's a late winter afternoon at Heart of Ottawa. Musician and artist Jesse Stewart has been coming to the Heart Studio for six weeks. Jazz musician Jane Bennett has come along today to make music. In just two months' time, Jesse Stewart and the artists at heart will be performing at Ottawa's National Arts Centre's fourth stage. To get ready, the artists spend weeks exploring different ways of making music. If you can make a sound with it, you can make music. Okay, so keep tapping down there too. How about attaching a motion sensor and amplifier to the table? Playing music together means listening to each other and taking turns. This exploration with music is new to many of these artists. The focus at heart up to now has been on art and creative writing. When this video was shot, the Hart Studio had been operating for six years. From eight to ten artists come to the Hart Studio every day. Most come once a week, some for several days each week. The director of the Hart Studio, Lynn Rossell has been developing the program for the past 11 years. Oh, look at it. That's wonderful. To have a place, you know, where you're respected and supported and encouraged, and you just have the ideal situation to create. And that's really what HART is. It provides that place that gives them that opportunity to just explore. We, we're not teaching, we're not showing, showing, that's not, we will show different techniques they can apply and use if they choose to. So over the years they have learned amazing skills, they have um, incredible work ethic, they take their work very seriously and really pride themselves and, and 
you know, their whole journey and exploration of their creativity is what it's all about. And they realize themselves that it, what it does for them is enable them to um, really have a voice, you know, a voice, their own personal voice through their work and to have a voice within the community as well. Like, here I am, I am an artist. The organist is a diamond tree dancing the accordion music. <laughs> Why do you think it is? Artist Irene Beck started coming to heart when the studio opened in 2002. Inside my dreams, dream. Irene has produced an enormous body of art over the past 12 years. So Kenny Rogers, I am seeing on the road again. Here, Irene is showing Jason Saint Laurent, the curator of Saw Gallery in Ottawa, some of the hundreds of paper bags she has created. I, I am going out of town and I will live. These are being featured in an exhibit at Saw Gallery. Bold and the beautiful. <laughs> We were in the midst of planning this new Ottawa Artist Spotlight and we had worked with Irene Beck before on a show called Band of Outsiders and we wanted to work with her again and then this seemed like the perfect opportunity for us to um, bring a work that people may not associate with her because she's known mostly as a painter um, and then this work shows a complete other side of Irene Beck's practice it really takes us into her mind you know these are works that she makes you know, almost compulsively every, every morning where she's going to the studio. So for us that was very interesting because what we see behind me right now is the result of years of work. And so we see the evolution of an artist here, which I totally love. Through the year, Hart has regular art exhibitions in a range of venues. This current exhibit at the Ottawa Art Gallery features nine women artists from Hart. for me like a real deep and um, amazing amount of curiosity about the world and they're just completely open and fearless to exploring, interpreting and painting and you know it was just it blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what, how about this? How about we hand out some of these other instruments and we'll play together, okay? So here's one. Who else will play this one? Okay, you like that? I've got two of those. Anybody want another one? Okay. Oh, well, I have something similar here. Okay, yeah. Okay. And you want this one? Okay. Here is what this, these are nice too. These are actually, I'll tell you what they're made of up front. These are made of, of goat toenails. Does anybody want? Yeah. <laughs> This came, this I just got not too long ago. I think I may have brought this last time, did I? Yeah. And uh, so it's just a spring, you can see. And uh, so we can get a sound like this, but you can also get variations in the sound. Remember what I did with the rocks and my mouth, using my mouth as a resonator? Well, this has a resonator here, and if I push it against my chest. And you can use the other end, which has the rubber handle on. Working with Jesse Stewart, 
putting on a musical performance is a new initiative for Hart, and this live performance will be a first for many of the artists. Jesse spends the first several weeks introducing the artists to different percussion instruments. I did it! And do you want to, now do, did you I want did to, it! Did you do it, Max? I did Great. it! Great. Now do you want to, do you want to, uh, did you try this one? No, do you want to try it? I did it! Okay. Jesse next brings in a variety of electronic instruments. These iPads are using software that creates music and sound effects driven by hand and body movements. Close to the performance, Jesse brings in the Reactable, a cutting-edge synthesizer made famous by the Icelandic musician Björk. The Reactable creates music and sound by moving small blocks around on the table-like surface. If, if just the sound of paper being crumpled and rubbed together, if we can, you know, think of that as music, then they'll, they'll be focused, it'll focus their listening I think in a different way. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with that, and then I thought we could, in keeping with this idea of paper, right, turning the page, the, the whole paper metaphor, I thought maybe we could incorporate the sound of cardboard. The turning the page so musical performance box. is taking place I along with an art exhibit, also called turning so the page, at Ottawa's now. Gallery that 101. Gallery director and curator I Laura Margita explains that her that approach. The artists are telling their own stories and in that way they're really one of one of the most true to themselves artists because they're not reaching beyond themselves to tell some other story they're not worried that their story shouldn't be told they don't have I don't think there's that same pressure because they're there to make art in a very supported supportive and gentle institution like Heart of Ottawa so, and that's, and then that's a really interesting balance to me to see, okay, these, one of the things I think it was, I hope it was Stravinsky who said, um, the more restrictions we have on us, sometimes the greater creation that can come out of it, because you've sort of got something to hold on to while you reach as far as you can for your um, personal uh, expression. Years of brown paper placed under the canvases the artist painted on have been carefully kept. This unique record of their artistic journey is being bound into a book. And the brown paper is also being used to create a mural. This mural will highlight the center of the exhibit space at Gallery 101. The paper bags created by artist Irene Beck are also being featured at Gallery 101. Titled Sidekick, the paper bags are arrayed in two rows along two walls of the gallery. The pace of the rehearsals at the studio is picking up. Third opening the paper, segue directly to the boxes, then I'll do the solo box while we have the change between Monday and Tuesday. Then you come out, shake the box, and pull out the goodies inside the box, and we'll make music with that. I'll transition to frame drum. We'll add the voices. It's beautiful. It sounds great. I love your singing. It's so nice. And uh, and then we'll we'll bring we'll build it up. Then we'll bring it, bring it down, and the the percussion will drop out. We'll just have voice. That's a, that'll be a really, really nice moment. 
Near the end of March, the Turning the Page exhibit opens at Gallery 101. Great. Fading out the um, the speakers. It would be great if there could still be like a little more from the water phones just to keep it going. And, uh, and after the gallery opening, April brings a more intense focus on the upcoming performance. I think that'll be great. So how's that sound? What do you think? What are your thoughts? You like the sound of that? Yeah. yeah. Alex, did you like that? I like it so much. You like it so much? Good. Claire, how about you? Would you pre would you prefer to not? move or would you rather play uh, just play stones or something else or do you want to move? Your movements were great. Jesse Stewart is trying different approaches, juggling how to feature the artists, let them play what they enjoy, give those who like to dance the chance to dance, and figuring out how to get 45 artists on and off stage all on different cues. I've been doing like, I will have done the sort of the most of the transitions will be me, and that gives people a chance to go on and off stage. Yeah. I'm wondering if this time it should be different. I'm wondering if I should drop out. You keep going for a little while with the stones and the water mm. phones. I can, I, fade, I can fade out the speakers, but you still go for a little while, and that'll give me a chance mm -hmm. to walk over to maybe the snare drum. And then I can start there, and that will be your cue to leave the stage, and then four new dancers can come on, or something like that. Does that make sense? Mm. I, have to, I have to figure There you go. One for everybody. Oh, okay. Well, can we just both together? Mm. I got to say April 30th finally arrives, the day of the performance. The afternoon is busily spent as the artists and Jesse go through several rehearsals. Sound on the iPads, and we're going to go from the raindrops to this sound here. If I can find it, let me see that one. Okay, wood blocks, right? But you need to be still at the start, okay? And same thing. I'll we'll dial in one at a time. So there's going to be a solo here, a solo dance. Move. So yeah. So Anna, you're going to be here. Yes. All right. So Anna's going to have a dance, and then you'll oh, get the yeah. yeah. All right. And then you're going to get the cue from Lynn to stop, and you're going to be what? a statue. We are all musicians. We're turning the page on disability and the arts. We invite you.
The performance may have happened, but it isn't really over. For the next week, the Heart Studio spends each afternoon talking about it, and the artists get to share their thoughts and feelings. When you like, when you like lower down the sound, I found pretty nice. And when you turn it back up and all that stuff, and then lowering it, playing quiet, playing quieter, that was quite nice. I love that that saying that we said. We are all artists, we are all musicians. We are turning the page on disability in the arts. Turn the page with us. I enjoyed that part. Oh yeah, and then um, the uh, as soon as that just the beginning, like as soon as that began, I like how the like, when we started off with the papers and then when the Monday group did did that finished it up and then they did like the the, the tapping up. Like the tapping to start off with, and I like how I liked how it grew. I liked how it started to grow, to grow and all that stuff. And it was awesome. It got bigger and bigger to the fullest. How do you feel, Doug? The best of it was good. I think we all did it together as a team. As a team effort. What were you going to say, Anna? Uh, I would. Oh, then my big boy, and cool. Then mom proud me. Hey, and my big sisters proud me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, the artwork was on yeah, the screen. Yeah, yeah, cool. <coughs> yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'm so glad on it. I love it, yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Whoa, you are a natural performer, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> and the one, and the one with the knee pad. Yes, this, nice this was fantastic. The way I was going, I was, I was doing all my hands a different way. This is why I kind of, the uh, integrology that I have today. And yes. trying to get this to sound all different way. That's, that's, oh, I like how I'm doing the sound the way the way I was going. Wow, so maybe you are a musician, you just discovered you're a real musician. The first time I do this, first time, never in American music. I kind of music. It's beautiful, very nice. <laughs> wow. It's again, my kind of experience, different experience, how to create music. Now, I was never know how this going goes. Yeah. It's because you are all got all the four high E-pads, you know, I think what the goals. I mean, after I, I saw the music, what the goal, different different part, different different music, different style of music, and so on. And man, I tried to follow the DC with the drums, get more, more, uh, let the music go more higher, more, more enjoying. Man, I was yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you loved it. What about you, Francis? It was fun because, like, I got to be on <coughs> stage and it wasn't as... I wasn't... Like, once I, once I got on the stage, I wasn't as... I wasn't as nervous. I was more nervous in the back going out before <coughs> than I got to know. I sort of knew what exactly I was doing because of all those practices and if I um, if I didn't get those practices I would probably forget what I was doing but I remembered exactly what I was supposed to do. And I like playing the what's that? I don't remember what it's called the yeah. reactable. The reactable. It was very fun. I enjoyed myself a lot. And, and I like how everybody had different instruments to play. That's what I really liked about the whole performance. I could hear everybody's, what they were playing. Jesse, do you want to just, your thoughts on the evening? <coughs> I really enjoyed working with Jesse Stewart. She was really fun. And I just, I got to enjoy myself. 
I think that's, that's the best thing that you can express. You can express joy and you can express your feelings through art and through music. And I really enjoyed the performance because it was very organic. Everyone knew. I, yeah, it was very organic because we know each other so well and we got to explore and we got to experience the iPads and we got to experience the, the whole event. It was really, really fun. And connecting with the fans, for me, was really, really fun because I'm a natural performer. And it was fun. I loved it. It's art and music. It, uh, uh, is a form of self-expression which is really important in life and in daily life and it's it's worth it because yeah it's worth it because you know that you're making a difference in the world and that everyone is making is making a change if I could do that and make people happy about it and, and tell the whole world that we can express ourselves into art, for hopes and dreams into our art, and we paint, we draw, creative writing. Um, it's like, um, mo like a magic moment. It's, it really express inside, uh, inside your heart. But when you paint on a canvas, it's like putting all your hopes and dreams on it. And when you draw, you just let it out. Out of your mind, out of your heart. When you paint on a canvas, it's like you're telling you, you're, it's almost telling a story. But it's like being on stage is like everywhere. 